is known as a fairly competitive crop, but not all genotypes are equal when it comes to weed suppression and weed tolerance. G'day and welcome to Weed Smart Science Review. I'm Cindy Benjamin and in this review we will look at some work by Kwafi scientists Gulshan Mahajan, Bagrath Chuan and Lee Hickey who investigated the competitive ability of four commercial varieties and four elite lines in the barley breeding program. The two-year field study at Gatton in Queensland showed that Commander Barley is both weed suppressive and weed tolerant. If sown with an effective pre-emergent herbicide, Commander is probably the best choice to maintain low weed numbers. Westminster is the most weed suppressive and might be a better choice if weed numbers are starting to increase or for use in low input and organic production systems. Westminster is not weed tolerant, so a significant yield penalty should be expected in weedy situations. Although Compass is tall and has a droopy architecture, like Commander and Westminster, it is not weed suppressive or weed tolerant and should only be chosen for weed free situations. Latrobe is the least weed seed suppressive but is weed tolerant, maintaining a reasonable yield in the presence of weeds. In this experiment, Panicle number was a good indicator of both weed suppressive ability and weed tolerance, but plant height and architecture were not reliable indicators. The real value of crop competition through narrow rows, high seeding rate and weed competitive genotypes comes to the fore a few weeks after planting and through the main growing season to suppress late emerging weeds. Herbicides will remain the main tool to provide a weed-free environment for the crop to establish and rapidly achieve canopy closure. This research was conducted and funded by the University of Queensland, a WeedSmart scientific partner.